Hi everyone, I'm excited to draw with you today and tell the secrets of one of the most culinary exported salad in the world is the famous tabbouleh. So if you love drawing, watercolors, cooking or uh, just trying an amazing new vegan salad, um, this video is for you. For the composition and measuring my objects on this illustration, I had drawn and cut sketches of the recipe ingredients. So I can try many compositions to decide the most equilibrate for the shapes, uh, considering the colors. Since I already have the color palette, uh, which in this case, I just follow my ingredients color. I have got different green tones combination with yellow for this illustration because it's mostly a green salad. The main ingredient in the tabbouleh is parsley, which is almost the two-third part of your portion. And the last third is a combination of everything else. I will tell you about the ingredients in a moment, but also I want to mention that I am following the authentic traditional recipe. Tabbouleh originally comes from the large Eastern Mediterranean region. It comes from my land, Syria, including Lebanon, Palestine, Jordan, and a southern part of Turkey as well. So I feel confident to explain how we do prepare the tabbouleh in our region. I will stop talking about the recipe for a moment to tell you about my illustration. Uh, in my illustration I use the lettuce leaves as a little plate for my tabbouleh. I really find them very cute and I draw it like a small bowl for holding the salad in. Usually this is how we um, present our tabbouleh. I added also in the middle uh, some green shades or green tones like a base background so when I color the parsley later um, I don't draw them on a white background. I will wait until uh, the base uh, green is dry so I will have the parsley as a second layer. As you know, parsley is a herbal aromatic leaf and as all other herbs, mixing their oils with different ingredients radically change the taste. And that is why I prepare the authentic classic version of my mother and my grandmother uh, with the simplest ingredients. The preparation steps are very easy if you understand this aromatic method. Keeping the essential oils in your ingredients as fresh as possible 
without mixing any of the ingredients together until the last minute before you serve it is a win-win for a tabbouleh to be remembered. After this being said, the preparation steps are very easy to follow. At the beginning, soak a small cup of burgol, leaving it to the end of the process. Then, chop all your ingredients one by one and save them in a different containers. Leave the onions to the last part of chopping. You don't want your ingredients oils to be mixed, you just want them to stay fresh so you will be mixing the ingredients just before eating them. So keep them in a different containers and again you don't want the watery tomatoes to sag your parsley leaves while you are still shopping the other ingredients. All you have to do before starting is sharpen your knife well. The reason is to chop finally getting a crisp parsley. We don't want to end up with the saggy leaves and tomatoes like being mashed. Prepare the dressing for your tabbouleh and add for them the scratched dry mint. Some people do add some fresh mint. I personally think the fresh mint have a strong potential essential oil that will hide the parsley fragrance. And that is what I don't want for my main ingredient. So I just add some dry mint to complement my parsley. I am very happy with the results that it's coming out of my chopped parsley and the little red squares and green represent the little cubes of tomatoes and cucumbers and onions so yeah it looks yummy already i am hungry and uh yeah i think i will add more layers for the parsley because the paper is absorbing the color and uh, it's turning lighter than I wanted. So, yeah. After these easy recipe steps, I know you will just love your own tabbouleh. I will leave the ingredients in the description box below and would love to hear from you guys. Comment this video and subscribe and see you soon.